We're now going to answer this question right here, and it's a good little question. It says, determine the percentage of variation in average speed explained by the variation in race length, round your answer to one decimal place. The first thing you need to do here is recognize what it's after. What it wants us to find is the R squared value. We know based on that sentence right there, that's what it wants. So determine the percentage of variation in average speed explained by the variation in race length. You know that that kind of statement is telling us we need to figure out the R squared value to there. Now the issue is to figure out the R squared value, you know, we either have to be told it or we need to be told what the R value is and then we can square it. But we haven't been told any of that information. Rather, what have we been told? We've been told the mean of the average speed and the standard deviation of the average speed and so too for the race length. So we've been given the mean and standard deviation of average speed and race length. Now, what you need to know, and hopefully this is very clear, is that all of this is one big question, right? So average speed is my y value and race length is my x. So now when I come down here, I know that the average speed is my y and the race length is my x. So I've been given the mean of the y, the standard deviation of the y, and the same to, same with the x values here. Now, as soon as I know that, that I've been given the mean and standard deviation of the x and y, and I'm after you know the r squared, where my mind goes to is, hey, I need to use this formulas over here. So you need to know how to use your bad reference and you know, know that you need to use this. And the reason why I know I need to use this is because this is a formula that includes the standard deviation and the mean of the x and y's. And then as you can see here, when I'm dealing with the slope, there is my r value right there. So to figure out what my r value uh, is going to be, I can just use this formula. And then I can just square the r value to get my r squared value. So that's kind of the thinking behind it. Now, I need to figure out what the b value is going to be because I need the slope is equal to my r times the standard deviation of the y over the standard deviation of the x. So what is my slope going to be? Well, I need to come all the way back up here. My slope is going to be that value right there, negative 0.004. So I'd come all the way back down. And I'm gonna go negative 0.004 is equal to r is what I'm trying to find. My standard deviation of y is going to be 2.1389. 2.1389 over my standard deviation of x, which will be 406.08, 400, whoops, 406.08, good. And then I'm going to solve it for r. So I'll come to my CAS menu 3, 1. I'm gonna put in negative 0.004 is equal to control divide r times 2.1389 over 46.08. I'm solving it for r. So that means I'm going to get negative 0 0.759 dot dot dot. Now my r squared is simply going to be I'm going to open up a pair of brackets. I'm going to chuck in the R value. I'm going to close the brackets. I'm going to square it. It's going to leave me with 5767 dot dot dot. Therefore, you know, in order to get this to a percentage, I would now take it, times it by 100. And now I need to round this also to one decimal place. So it's going to be 57.7%. All right. That's how you approach that question. That's the answer. Now, in terms of what we would need to write down to get our two marks here, remember that if you do give your final answer as the correct answer, you will get the uh, total two marks. But it's always good to think, all right, if I did mess it up, how would I only get one mark here? Uh, and perhaps the way that you would have done that is just by writing down what the R value is, and I'll do that unrounded. So I'm going to get negative 0 0.759 dot, dot, dot. Therefore, the R squared, therefore my R squared is going to be 0 0.5767, and then my final answer will be 57.7%. That's my final answer there, 57.7%. If we look at our examiner's report, 57.7% is my answer. Uh, so that is how I have approached question uh, F there.